you discuss the tasks that you need that need to be fulfilled to reach the objectives and delegate them to people you trust and who are capable and willing to perform the task. Hi everyone. As a startup or team manager or a leader of a startup or team, you can't do everything on your own. You need the support of your team. That's why knowing how to delegate tasks is of utmost importance for the success of your venture. My name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I've been an executive coach and leader for over 20 years. Today's topic is management by delegation. What does this management mean? Now, management by delega delegation has the following characteristics. Number one, you discuss the tasks that you need that need to be fulfilled to reach the objectives and delegate them to people you trust and who are capable and willing to perform the task. Number two, your team members have full responsibility for the task. And number three, in the beginning, you delegate routine tasks and then step by step, you extend the responsibility. What are your tasks as a manager then if you want to apply this method? Actually, they are very similar to your tasks when managing by objectives. First of all, you have to explain what to do, then how to do it. You have to provide the tools to complete the task and last but not least, to motivate your people to fulfill these tasks. As with many management and leadership uh, styles, there are advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are, number one, there is certainly a higher motivation in your team due to more responsibility. Number two, this creates a stronger bonding with your company. Number three, you as a manager are freed and can concentrate on other important things. And number four, it is not hierarchical as a style since the delegated tasks are agreed with your team members. On the other hand, there are some disadvantages too. The first disadvantage is that uh, the control part of delegation can have a demotivating effect since people might not feel trusted. Secondly, the delegation of routine tasks might reduce the entrepreneurial spirit in the team. Number three, there might also be a danger of employees feeling under challenged. And number four, and the last disadvantage is that um, <clears throat> the task might not be fulfilled to your uh, satisfaction. To learn more about different management styles and how they can foster uh, success, uh, please also watch my videos on motivation that explain how to implement various styles of management and leadership faster. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment uh, if you like or share it with your friends so that they also learn more. Thanks for watching. See you next week and don't forget, lead yourself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe here to get my latest content on startup leadership on my channel. Also feel free to take a look at my life program. It is tailor-made to turn founders and young professionals into leaders. Please have a look at the details and book a free business analysis session through the link in the description.